RevoTile by DalTile is a revolutionary and innovative tile installation system that makes installing your dream floor easier than ever before. This floating floor system installs directly over an existing floor or subfloor. It's bringing tile into the realm of everyday DIY projects and can help both contractors and homeowners easily complete their project over two times faster than traditional tile with less mess. Before you begin, read the installation instructions and call with any questions or concerns. So let's get started. We've created this video to provide instructions for the tools you'll need, site prep procedures, and the floor installation. Choose from the menu to skip ahead, tools and accessories, floor prep, underlayment installation, tile installation, corners and cuts, door frames and transitions, grout application, tile replacement, and tile care. Chapter one, tools and accessories. The Revo Tile installation system requires use of rapid prep underlayment and rapid grout in order to receive full warranty protection. These products are optimized for use with the system and are available everywhere Revo Tile is sold. Some tools are needed to complete this project. You can find a complete list in the printed instructions. Safety items such as gloves and knee pads, measuring tools like a tape measure, level, rigid ruler, and pencil. A laser level to determine the level of the floor is recommended. Laser levels can be purchased at most home improvement stores. If you can't get access to one of those, you can use the string method instead. You'll need a utility knife and a straight edge. The Click Fit installation kit is available for your convenience where Revo Tile is sold and has everything needed to complete your project. The kit includes wall spacers, a tapping block, and a pull bar. A mallet is also available and sold separately for ease of install. To cut the tile, you will need a manual tile cutter, and if you need to make any corner cuts, a wet tile saw, both of which are available for rent at your local home improvement store. When cutting, use safety glasses and a dust mask. For grouting, you will need rapid grout, a trowel, a grout float, two or three microfiber grouting sponges, and a large bucket filled with clean water. Silicone sealer may be needed if you're installing a floor in a high moisture area like bathrooms and laundry rooms. Chapter 2. Floor Preparation Revo tile can be installed over concrete, existing tile, hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl, and rigid vinyl. It is not recommended over carpet. The subfloor should be dust and dirt free, so give it a good sweep or vacuum. Make sure the floor is clean, dry, and structurally sound. Before installing the tile, it's essential that the floor is level within 3 16 of an inch per 10-foot span. Otherwise, there will be peaks and depressions that can cause dead spots underfoot, potentially damaging the installation. Check for level with a laser leveling system, which is recommended, or with a string. In the string method, measure for level from corner to corner. Sand or plane any peaks and fill depressions with leveling compound to ensure no more than 3 16 of an inch unevenness per 10 foot span. Recheck the floor once you've finished. Chapter 3 Underlayment Installation The Revo Tile system requires the use of rapid prep underlayment. Fit the first sheet of underlayment against the longest wall, being sure to smooth out any wrinkles. If you can, fit the underlayment under the drywall or molding. Place the next piece of underlayment close to the first and tape the seams according to the instructions. Continue laying down the underlayment, carefully securing all edges until the entire floor is covered. Take your time. Revo Tile performs best when installed over a stable and level base. Chapter 4 Revo Tile Installation Choose the best direction to install the tile based on the shape of the room. You may want to consider things like the longest and straightest wall the pattern of the tile, and architectural elements like fireplaces or door frames. Revo tile can be installed at 33% or 50% staggered offset for 12 by 24 and 6 by 24 sizes, and 33% offset only for the 6 by 36 size. Straight grid and herringbone patterns are not approved for Revo tile installation. Next, determine the number of tile rows you'll need by measuring the width of the room and dividing by the width of the tile. If the last row is less than 2 inches, cut the first row so that the first and last rows are even widths. Before starting, open the boxes and inspect the tiles for defects or damage. For best results, 
Mix tiles from multiple cartons to prevent any obvious pattern repeats. To determine whether or not the walls are square, snap a chalk line along the base of the walls. If the walls are not square, double up on wall spacers to ensure the installation remains straight. Painter's tape can be used to hold wall spacers in place as needed. Use construction adhesive to install any necessary transition or termination strips. Examine the Revo tile on all four sides. Notice that there are two types of edges along the tile that interlock with each other. Tongue edges are smaller in size and groove edges are wider in size. The groove edge has markers that show both 33% and 66% offset indicators. You will connect these tiles together by interlocking the small tongue edge into the larger groove edge. When you install Revo tile, it's important that tiles are lined up straight with each other. In order to help align the tile correctly, prepare a guide tile by cutting a piece of tile six inches or longer with a tongue edge to help set the tiles in place. When installing the floor, work from left to right and follow in a diagonal for the first three rows. This will allow you to create a straight, firm foundation for the tile throughout the room. A major advantage of Revo tile is that you can cut it without a wet saw. Simply mark the length, use a manual tile cutter to score, and then snap the tile. More detail about cuts, including wet tile cuts, is covered in the next chapter. Now, let's begin tiling. Place two tongue edges in the corner of the room. Use wall spacers to create a quarter inch gap along both walls. It's important that you apply the spacer against the tile, not against the base profile. Make sure the wall spacers are placed between the joints of each pair of tiles as you proceed. You'll continue to use wall spacers along the entire perimeter of the room. Pick up the second piece of tile and lock the short tongue edge into the short groove edge of the first tile. Make sure to keep track of the chalk line throughout the installation. If your wall is uneven, you may need to double up on spacers to keep the tile straight. The key to a successful installation is to ensure that the tile is aligned within the rows. Revo Tile uses patented click fit technology to easily lock tiles together. To connect two tiles end to end, Lock the short tongue edge into the short groove edge. Place the tongue into the groove at a slight angle and rotate to the floor until the tile locks in place. The third piece of tile will be used to start the second row. Cut this piece to the marked offset indicator for a 33% offset pattern or in half for a 50% offset pattern. The cut edge will go along the wall. Be sure to use wall spacers to maintain the quarter inch expansion gap. Lock the long side of the fourth piece of tile into the first two pieces while maintaining a gap no more than a quarter inch from the third piece of tile. To make it easier to tap your fourth piece of tile into place, lock your guide piece into the long sides of the third and fourth pieces. Using the tapping block and mallet, tap the short side of the fourth tile until it completely locks into the third tile. Once the tile is in place, remove the guide tile. You will reuse the guide tile as needed throughout the installation to ensure that your tile is aligned. To prevent any damage to the tile profile, make sure the tapping block lip sits on the edge of the tile and not the locking backer. Begin the third row with the fifth piece of tile. This will be either a full or cut piece of tile, depending on the pattern you choose. Lock the long groove edge into the first piece of tile in the second row. When this is complete, return to the first row and lock the sixth piece of tile in place using the short tongue edge. Tile in a diagonal pattern across the room using a guide piece throughout the process to help stabilize the tiles as you tap them into place. Keep track of the chalk line throughout the installation to ensure that your rows remain aligned. Complete the first three rows using the diagonal method. Starting with the fourth row, you can install full rows before moving to the next row. 
Mistakes will happen. However, if you do chip a section of the profile, you don't have to throw out that tile. The profile can be chipped as much as one inch on the short side and two inches on the long side and still create a strong joint if the surrounding material is intact. When there's no room to use a tapping block, typically when you reach the end of a row or are working against a wall or island, use a pull bar. We recommend applying a few layers of tape on the end of the pull bar to cushion and protect the tile. Align the pull bar on the tile edge, not the profile, and tap to pull the tiles together. Continue to add rows of tile until the room is completed. If you come to the wall and find that you are unable to use the tapping block to join the tiles, you can use construction adhesive to glue the tile to the underlayment, cut off the tongue and groove with a utility knife, making sure to leave enough space for grout. Chapter 5, Corners and Detailing. You'll be faced with three kinds of cuts when you install Revo Tile. Straight cuts, corner cuts, and section cuts. Straight cuts are needed when you come to the end of a row and must fit the tile to the wall. Measure the distance from the last tile to the wall, then add 1 8 of an inch for the grout joint and 3 8 of an inch for expansion at the wall. Mark your tile, and then make the cut on a manual tile cutter which you can rent at your local home improvement store. The tile cutter scores the tile, allowing you to snap it to length. Put the cut edge against the wall. For corner cuts, you need to use a wet saw, which you can also rent at your local home improvement store. Mark the tile with a permanent marker and cut to the line, being careful not to go past it. In certain instances, you may need to tile around a door jam or an island leg or a bump out in a wall. In that case, you will need to use both a wet saw and a manual cutter. First, make your two cuts with a wet saw. Then score the section of the middle of the tile and use your mallet to tap out the waste. Chapter 6 Door Frames and Transitions Due to the height of this product, if you install Revo Tile over an existing floor, you will need to check door heights and make appropriate adjustments. When transitioning between Revo Tile and another flooring material, you have a number of choices. If the second material is at the same level as the Revo Tile floor, you can either use a transition strip or butt the two materials together. A transition strip is almost always the best choice when both materials are hard surface floors. Leave a gap of 1 8 of an inch from the tray to the bottom of the T, and from the T to the edge of the other material. This lets you be a little less precise in your cut and allows for seasonal movement. If you are transitioning to a carpeted floor of the same height or taller, you can butt the Revo tile against the carpet. Use a wet saw so your cut will be crisp and precise. Then using a carpet stretcher, attach the carpet to a tack strip. When the levels of the two floors are not equal, you will need to use a termination strip. Cut the tile to length, and then use construction adhesive to affix the termination strip to the floor. Chapter 7 Grout Application Before grouting, let's take a last look at the entire floor and ensure that all the joints are tight and everything is correctly lined up. This is your opportunity to make sure your floor is as perfectly laid out as possible. You'll be grouting the joints between the tiles. You may consider using silicone sealer for the space between the tile and the wall, especially for wet areas and areas prone to water exposure. In larger commercial applications, an expansion joint should be placed every 100 linear feet. The Revo tile system requires rapid grout, a flexible single component grout. Before use, it must be mixed thoroughly with your trowel to incorporate any liquid that is separated during storage. Do not add water. Rapid grout is quick drying, so it is very important that you grout and then promptly clean a small section at a time, ideally no larger than three feet by four feet. Finally, fill a large bucket with water and have your microfiber grouting sponge ready. To begin, remove the wall spacers from around the perimeter. Lightly dampen your sponge with clean water and apply to the top of the tile. Drop a baseball-sized amount of grout directly onto a tile joint. Use a grout float and firmly press the grout into the joint, packing it in, and then wipe it away at a 45-degree angle. Continue doing this until you've used up this pile of grout. 
Now, wring out your sponge until it's damp and wipe the tile firmly at a 45 degree angle to the seams, but not so firmly that you drag out the grout. Best practice is to wipe the tile with one side of the sponge, flip it, wipe with the second microfiber side, and then rinse and wring the sponge nearly dry before beginning again. Periodically change the water in the bucket so you can continue to wipe the tile with clean water. If you do not wipe off the grout promptly and completely, it will leave a hazy substance on the top of the tile. Wait at least three hours before using an everyday glass cleaner to remove the haze. If the haze is still visible, you can purchase a grout haze remover. To ensure the best application, always make sure your grout has been stored properly, is as new as possible, and has been thoroughly mixed. Most importantly, grout small sections at a time. We recommend working in one baseball-sized amount of grout at a time, and then wiping off the excess. Chapter 8. Tile Replacement Revo tile is very durable and scratch resistant, but if an individual tile does become damaged, it can be easily replaced. Using a rotary cutting tool, carve out the grout around the damaged piece to expose the base profile. Carefully cut all around the exposed tray, making sure you don't damage the underlayment below. A pry bar can be used to lift the damaged tile free from the floor. Trim the profile from the new tile and dry fit it into place to ensure it lies flat and level and is not hung up on any of the existing tile's profiles. Once the fit is right, affix the tile to the floor with construction adhesive. Grout the tile. For detailed grouting instructions, please review Chapter 7 in this video. Chapter 9. Tile Care Congratulations, you've successfully tiled your floor. Your newly grouted tile can be walked on in 24 hours and will completely cure in 72 hours. Revo Tile is waterproof, stain-proof, dent-proof, and highly scratch-resistant. If something is spilled on the tile, you can clean up with a mop and typical household cleaning products. Maintain your tile by sweeping, vacuuming, and mopping, and it will continue to look great for years to come. If you have any questions or want more information, Visit us online at daltile.com forward slash revotile. Enjoy your new revotile floor.